family, this is Greg once again coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. Today I want to talk about vision. Proverbs 29.18 says that where there is no vision, the people perish. I want to ask you, what vision has God placed within you to perform, to produce within the body of Christ? My oldest daughter Jackie, when she was preschool age, used to play with play school puzzles. Now these puzzles weren't very intricate, they only had maybe eight or ten pieces. They were big size pieces. But I remember her, she's very determined, and I remember her trying to force the pieces into places where they weren't designed to go. There were, quite, there were maybe two or three pieces out of this ten piece puzzle that were very similar in shape. And for her, at that young age, she couldn't decipher the different pieces and how they were supposed to fit together. So determinedly, she would pound on this puzzle trying to get it to work out. And needless to say, it didn't work out. She later learned and could put these simple puzzles together in less than 10 seconds. But initially, she was bent on getting these pieces to fit, even though they weren't designed to fit in that particular spot. And I want to ask you, in your life, in the vision that God has given you, are you trying to force what you do, what you are, into a position that you weren't designed to fit into? We are all parts, individual parts, of a design plan by God. We are all designed to supply something different, something unique to the body of Christ as a whole. And if you haven't figured out or if you haven't heard from God what your design plan is for the body of Christ, I would encourage you to seek God. Spend some time in His Word. Spend some time in prayer. Get along with God and find out what His plan is for your life. There are so many people that are living life miserably. They get up in the morning griping. They don't want to do what it is that they do for the rest of the day. They live for Friday. They celebrate on Friday and they mourn on Sunday because they know they have to go back to whatever it is they do on Monday. Life was not made to be drudgery. Life was meant to be joyful. Jesus came that we might have life and have it to the full. And once you find out what your lot in life is, once you find out what God designed you to do, and begin to work toward the vision that He placed within you, life will truly become joyous. You will find that life Every day is Friday. Every day is joyous. In fact, you will have to force yourself to take a vacation. Can you imagine for a moment living a life that you get so much enjoyment out of fulfilling what you were designed to do that you have to force yourself to take a vacation? Life can be just that good. So I encourage you to get along with God, find out exactly what you're supposed to be doing, bring forth that vision that He's placed within you, and we can truly become a fully functioning body of believers, functioning as a whole as we were designed to function. Thanks again for your time, family. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are a fellow Christian YouTuber, I've got a new resource that I'm unveiling. It's designed to be a support mechanism for us all. Um, sometimes we can get a little down in doing what we are designed to do. What I've created is a community, a YouTube community, where fellow YouTubers can gather together to share information, to share SEO secrets, to get our videos out to the masses. There is so much quality content out here on YouTube that needs to be exposed. What I've designed is an area where we can come together and 
support one another, encourage one another, and I'm excited about it. So if you would like to check us out, become a part of our community, go to www-microministries.com and I'll place the link below this video. Uh, we welcome you. We look forward to building a community of like-minded believers to fulfill the Great Commission. Once again, I thank you for your time and I leave you with one pressing question and that question is, is anything impossible with God? Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.